professional level is very hard work, and uh, I think I'm dedicated enough to work hard and, and try to be the best basketball player I can. And you know, it's good to get, get comments from everyone, and uh, that's inspiring to go out and keep working hard. How's the transition been from one from college to the Olympic experience and now to the NBA? Well, I think it's, it's been pretty easy. You know, I, I think the Olympic was kind of pre-professional uh, level. It was fast-paced, it was physical, and that's just the type of NBA game is. And, uh, you know, coming on this level is a brand new start for me, and I have to start from the bottom and work my way up. So, uh, you know, I think the hard work is ahead of me, and I'm, I'm willing to take on that, that challenge and go out and play the best I can. After the Olympics and the glory and wearing the gold medal, was it difficult to come down from that high? It was. It was. I think the Olympics was a big uh, dream come true for me. Uh, you know, a lot of players don't get the chance to represent the United States, and I did, and I was very happy to do that. And now I'm just coming off of that, and I know it's it's reality now, and it's in the past, and I have to look forward to the future, but it's going to be some fond memories, and, and I have to uh, get ready for my professional career. Big crowd when the Bulls were here, featuring Michael Jordan, and a lot of those fans have returned. We had some close games, except the game down in, uh, down in Houston, so that to me is a sign that there may be a good ball club as Jordan comes up with the steal and the stuff. Jordan is a complete player. He plays both ends of the floor. And he just demonstrated that playing the passing lanes comes up with the steal. Miscommunications on the defensive end by the Chicago Bulls that time. Oh no. Michael Jordan double clutching on the reverse side of the board. That's 11 for Chicago. Well, you don't give the offensive player the baseline, the Knicks did, and then Jordan just hung in the air and hit a reverse layup. Watley with the basketball to Jordan. Knicks knock it away for Michael. Michael Jordan hands a 16-footer. Jordan hits a jump shot. And again, Darryl Walker in the game for the Knicks now. He replaced Trent Tucker. And again, the Knicks are applying pressure. Oh, what a shot. Michael Jordan making it look easy, and you know it isn't. 25-14. Bernard King, 28-22. The Knicks down by 6-12 for Bernard King. Well, here's the matchup that the people were really looking for. It. And did you see the baseline move by Michael Jordan? Excellent pass from Ernie Grunfeld that got the ball to Carter for the two points then. What a jam by Woolrich. The second time. Darrell Walker had to change his shot with that interior defense. And here's Michael Jordan. That was the comment that I wanted to make. I pulls by 16. And they call that a good block by Corzine. Here you're going to see Sparrow on the way to the hoop. Now there's Corzine, but you see Jordan come over from the weak side and make the block. The circle then. But instead, he tried to get too close, and as he made his pivot, he did walk. Or, in that situation, try swinging the ball. What a shot. But again, if Sparrow goes to the hoop, he ends up shooting a layup instead of a 20-footer. Kenny's had a tough first half. So the Knicks, 67-50, Chicago, four seconds. Michael Jordan. Hand check on Rory Sparrow that time. Two shots from Michael Jordan. Stands at the foul line with 13 points. King has 18 for the Knicks. Woolrich has 16, and now Michael Jordan has 14. It's the second missed foul shot. They, trail, they lead the Knicks by 18, 70 to 52. Jim Carvellis and Butch Beard, Madison Square Garden. Michael Jordan, Enos Watley with the ball. Michael Jordan makes it look easy. He knocked the ball away because Woolrich would have had a sure dunk or layup in the transition game. Michael Jordan on the inbounds pass. And here's the matchup that everybody came to see, Jordan against King. Michael Jordan. In the jump shot. That was partially blocked right there by Woods. Right, here's Michael Jordan. Daly a miss. And Michael Jordan a follow up jam. What a 
great jam by Jordan. As they'll pass up a shot to get a closer shot. That time King did. He had a little 10 footer, but instead he chose to go to the hoop and he scored. Not again. Yes, again. Bailey can get into the offensive flow. It really can be a spectacular night for the Bulls as Jordan has come up with another steal. Michael Jordan puts on his show. I'm going to just go there regardless of who is standing there. Unbelievable. James Bailey missed it. Bannister. And a block by Jordan. Kenny Bannister went up to jam the ball. And Michael Jordan rejected even Mostly. though it may be by the wrong ball club or the wrong individual, they've been entertained by that guy right there. Michael Jordan. And it's 110-84 Chicago. And Jordan leaves the game. 33 points. Probably Michael's... Uh, Michael Jordan.